Hello, we are the Damsels Game. The Damsels are three lady gamers who like to play games and we talk about them like we're doing tonight. We do more than talk, though. We also put out a lot of YouTube content on our YouTube channel, The Damsels Game. Anyway, that was my mistake. <laughs> Please go and subscribe. And also like, etc., etc. And this week, The Damsels Game has a sponsor. I'm going to tell you all about it. Mythory Automotive. Welcome to Mythory's Automotive. You scavenge parts and we duct tape them together. Best vehicles in the apocalypse. Just ask some of our satisfied customers. We can make motorcycles in all colors. Pink Jeeps to make your Barbie dreams come true and even a selection of helicopters. So come on in at your earliest convenience to Mythory's Automotive. I am a customer, Mythory's Automotive, and I have zero complaints about her work ethic and such. So, um, you know, that's a glowing recommendation from me. I don't know how much she charges. I did. I didn't pay her. It's, it's not, that wasn't part of the deal. <laughs> Paying her wasn't part of the deal. We have to say something like we have to have a disclaimer that they supplied the Jeep is one of our sponsors. Something oh, like right. Oh, right. Our sponsors did supply our Jeep. That is how we paid that we just paid for the jeep because we advertised one of the cool things is you can't see any of the duct tape so you don't know that it's yeah you don't know that it's held together with duct tape you have no idea we didn't get covers up a lot of things right (laughs) we didn't get any email this week so let's go ahead and jump right into comments to videos right so you guys did some drunken theomia racing yes I i did watch but for those that are interested in watching, be knowing before they watch, are the Fiomias the ones that are drunk, or is it you two? Oh, we're <laughs> drunk. We're the the Fiomias are not allowed to drink. And uh, let me tell you something: these guys they don't take shit from anybody. Uh, this is Betty Poop. Except you two. We've got Sir Poopington. Uh, we've got Mr. Poop at ER, reigning champion. Yeah, except us. They we, they do take shit from us. Uh, Mr. Poop Smith, he really knows how to dish it out. And Sir Poops a lot. You know, nobody poops like this guy. I will say you have to watch till the very end because you won't know who wins. Yes, that's right. Hey. Uh, a nail biter. <laughs> it was a big nail biter. Tooth nail. Tooth and nail biter. You, you might right. say somebody tried to cheat and bowl of me at the beginning. All right, and then you guys wanted a dolphin, but you left with the star. Yes! Let's play con Beto says, is Ark, you go out and tame what you find. I like to surround myself with pretty things. Because we were out looking for dolphins, and there were none to be found, I found some sharks. And, the you know, it's it's not my fault if the shark is pretty, and then he comes up and tries to bite me, and I decide that I'm going to adopt him based on that. It's not my fault. It just happens. That's, that's the way it shakes out. Say sharks aren't pretty. All right, and then um, Mass Effect Legendary. That's what it's called, right? Yes, yes, Mass Effect Legendary. All right, you had your first fight with Sarah. Yes! And oh. all of them have links in them. Um, that was an amazing video. Very cool. Retype Beer Loaf says, Just wonderful. You're so intense. Glad to see you re-enjoying the game. I hope to see more of these. And I, since that one, we haven't seen any, well, by the way. Well, I haven't done anything cool <laughs> since then. I'm, I'm chasing down side quests. I must say that unless it does all the options, I would not choose. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I sweat every single decision. Like, is this the right thing to do? Is that the right thing to do? <laughs> and her idea of sweating is, I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. And then she does a expletive deleted, I'll do this one. She does sweat each one, though. It's very nice. Cool. In a nice way. <laughs> cool way. All right. And then we had a whole bunch of videos we did for our POV series because it's been a few weeks since we've done an episode. So all the links are there. And we had a couple comments. For my 15, three tight <laughs> beer loaf like the back and forth that Lessa and I had. Lessa says to me, you know, you do something one time. And I replied one time. And Lessa was like, uh, oh, so Rutai's <laughs> response was, I can't believe it, Lessa at a loss for words. Yeah, that doesn't happen very often, so write <laughs> that down. And then he, he's the one that commented most on our video, so he said for Lessa's video for POV 15, I love how the first mission was too easy. Lessa, the thrill seeker, always trying one up for the danger. <laughs> also, the second failed because you broke the damsel code. I didn't know there was a damsel code. <laughs> Literally didn't know. (laughs) 
And then somewhere in there, you must have done something because Myth said, oh, my God, fun with flags. What? Um, yeah. Uh, so I, I took up a second mission that was a clearing mission, but I couldn't figure out how to get it started. And I thought maybe I bugged it out. Uh, I, th I thought you were supposed to go up to the flag at the beginning and like there's like a press E to get started, but there was no E. So it was weird. Oh, I've had that happen. Yes. So how do you do it? You just log out and come back another time? No, or... I've never been able to do it. Oh. It just bugged out. So I might have that to just it. give up the mission entirely. Yep. Okay, yep. I can do that. All right, and then for Miss POV 15, you said good girls bring home their batteries because, you know, Myth won't let you home without batteries. No, she and won't. Stuff. And then Brie Tiberlo said, there are no winners in House Jenga. That's, That's the one where you guys were playing with the garage. The garage. garage. Yeah, we were trying to knock it down, Jenga. and we were both underneath it, taking turns, whacking at the walls. Yep. Are there no and winners? Then... Because I think you might have won. Well, if you count the house falling down on top of you, I won. <laughs> <laughs> But it fell down on top of you, too, so I also won. <laughs> yes. See, that's why there are no real winners. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> and then for POV 16, Myth had a saying. Lessa says, parking in the apocalypse is very important. She liked that um, comment by Mithri. So I guess... Oh. <laughs> yes. I like to quote Mithri sometimes. Just... That's what it is, a quote from Mithri. It's a quote from Mithri. I'm just going to ignore that s stuff about Saba did editing. Right? Saba did it. do editing. <laughs> she did do editing. I was I was very impressed. It says, now you see a cornfield. And then the cornfield goes away and it says, now you don't. And I was like, all right, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. I enjoyed that. There was a bunny. There was a bunny. There was a bunny. Like, in the very beginning, she talks about, Mithri, do you not watch our fucking show? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, you are the laziest mother trucker on the planet, girl. That, that, in the very beginning, you only have to watch the first 30 seconds of Saba's video, and you can hear her, uh, us trying to kind of convince her about the bunny, about chasing the bunny. And then I told a little story about her, you know, being yes, dead from the bunny. Yeah. And I thought that was a good little Poor bit. Saba story. <laughs> I thought that was a good little bit of editing. So keep that up. All right. So obviously I didn't learn anything this week because I was lazy. Oh. What did you guys learn? Oh, my gosh. I learned. What did I learn? Oh, there you go. When you go out to find something, it's not going to be there. Like, say you go out to find a dolphin, which we went out to find. It's not going to be there. We couldn't find a dolphin, and the dolphin that we did find disappeared, and another dolphin that we found freaking got murdered by sharks. Probably one of these little buttheads that I adopted. And the next day, when we were no longer looking for a dolphin, we found dolphins everywhere. Everywhere. So if you're looking for something, just stop looking for it. It will come to you. Correct. That's it. That's, That's what how I learned. the world works. And <laughs> Mr. But what Mithri, what did you learn? <laughs> I didn't know I wanted this shark to tell you. Know that you oh my god. A shark, but I wow. Could, so, fun. so I guess I learned I didn't know you could adopt a shark. So all the animals in Ark are adoptable. Almost. Some of them aren't. Yeah, there's like two things I think that aren't. Yeah, there's a couple of things you can't adopt. I wonder adopt. why they made a couple not adoptable. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> All right, so on to, we have very little rumors, news, and lines because the question of the day is going to take up most of our time. Yeah, the question of the so, day is pretty involved. <laughs> the only thing we have for rumors, news, and lines is Guild Wars 2, Dragon Bash 2021. Myth the Dragon up. Bash is back. My favorite event. Is what? A favorite event. Oh, okay. So it starts two days from now on June 22nd through July 13th. This time you travel to the northern city of Holbrack to celebrate your victories against Jermag and Primordius. Primordius. Um, so you can remember those lost in battle and look ahead to the future. And that is our news for this week. You know, it would be yeah. cool if they had, like, in the vendors there, if they had soup. So you could be eating Primordius soup. <laughs> never, mind. never mind, never mind, never mind. That was a dad joke. <laughs> 
Dad joke, dad joke, dad joke alert. They have some really good candy Primordial filler. Primordial soup. Yeah, uh, we gotta go bash dragons. Yeah. Uh, it is 100% worth it. Just for the little candies and treats and stuff that you can get. And the chocolates. The chocolates are really good buff. So, we definitely want right. to do that. Our question of the day, and I have a big preamble to this. So. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Uh, what are your favorite and one least favorite crafting survival games? Yes. And I went out on the internet and did some searching around. And PCGamesN.com had a little thing that says, what are the best crafting games on PC? It's easy to mix these up with building games, as they both involved an element of construction. The critical difference here is that the best crafting games are all about making things to help you survive in a harsh world or thrive in a charming one. So we're talking about crafting survival games here, not building yes. games. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Right? So yes. then I also checked out what um, a couple different sites thought their favorite crafting survival games were. So like PCGamesN.com, which the N just stands for Network and Sites. It's a combination of sites. Um, their best crafting games. Um, some of us have those, these in their list. Uh, Trove, No Man's Sky, Stardew Valley, Rust, Michael, Rising, Terraria, Ark, Don't Star, Spark, and Cannon, Garden Paul's Forager, Seven Days to Die in Green Hell, um, Rock, Paper, Scissors, Rock, Paper, Shotgun.com. They have a bunch, but The Long Dark, Rimworld, Neo Scavenger, Don't Star, The Forest Raft, Frostpunk, Minecraft, Seven Days to Die, and a whole bunch of others. Mm -hmm. And then the last one I looked up was PC Gamer. They have Valheim, Subnautica, Grounding, Frostpunk, Escape from Tarkov, Outward, Rimworld, The Long Dark, Oxygen Not Included, Ark, Don't Starve, Duskers, Daisy, Minecraft, The Forest, This World, War of Mine. Um, so that gives you a general idea of what they thought are the best ones out there. Yeah. So... Don't starve. What? I, you mentioned don't starve. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we've yep. tried that. I've played mm -hmm. it once. All right. So, uh, but it's not on my list. It's not on the top five list of that. So we I rated. came up with our top five. Yeah. Let's uh, <clears throat> came up with. Didn't even come I, to yeah, mind. I, I came up with a ret with a metric, uh, and you right. can you can talk about your metric if you want or not. One, how enjoyable is it? As in, do you keep going back to that game? Do you think and plan for it when you aren't playing it? Um, crafting mechanics number two how easy is it how hard is it intuitive how fun is it that's the most important so scale of one to ten on all these how enjoyable is it what about the craft what do you think of the crafting mechanics scale of one to ten building uh, does it allow for creativity are you allowed to terraform so how intuitive is there is the building in that in the game that you're talking about for survivability how challenging is it to stay alive? Uh, factor in food, weather, how enjoyable is it to master these things? And finally, uh, I rated it on a scale of playability. Is this a game that you would play for over six months? Is this a game that you think about when you're not playing it? Uh, if, are you going to play it a couple times? You can leave it forever and never go back. <laughs> um, sorry. Anyway. Uh, so you can write up to five games of your choice. I'll give you mine first, and then we'll talk about Sabas and Mithri's choices. And I'm going to give you mine, uh, my point system from the, the game that got the least amount of points to the game that got the most. The game that came in fifth on my list for me was Subsistence, and this is a game that I still think about going back to play, just because it was really enjoyable to master all the little nuances, especially hunting and fishing. And I thought those were both really well done. Fishing is really well done in that fishing game. Fishing is really well done. And I love the seasons. I think that the seasons should be longer. Mm -hmm. I think that the, the season... Oh, no. Should... I was so ready for winter to be over. Well, oh, my God. I think the season where you can actually do stuff should be longer. <laughs> because if you're not ready for winter in this game, you are going to die. die, 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 die. Yes. It is oh terrible. This game is unforgiving. Um, but it's unforgiving 
and the content is repeatable. It's playable. So that's why it made my list. And number four on my list, Ark came in fourth. Even though this is the game I've probably played the most out of this last month. It's not number one on my list. It's not even number two on my list. Number four, Ark. I gave it 41 points. I I really enjoy this game. (laughs) The drawback to me is that you can't... It's not like Seven Days to Die where you can just fire up a game and your friends can join you and you can go and do something. Ark, it's a big commitment. That's not even one of your metrics there. No, what? A commitment? Playability. Playability and enjoyability. I can I can fit anything anywhere, man. You just gotta get creative. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, Ark is my number four. I highly recommend. And my number three is actually a tie between Subnautica and Minecraft. I enjoy both of those games very, very much. And you can solo those games, and you can play those games with other people, and you can, especially Minecraft, you get so creative, and you can do things in, in different ways, and you can have different goals, and you set goals for yourself. Subnautica is a little bit different in that it has a storyline that you're following, and you have goals that you actually have to achieve in order to move your story forward. But as I found out, you can pretty much place yourself in a part of the story and, and just do nothing. Yeah. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to advance. You could just, you know, grow things and make things and have a good time and right. have the biggest base on the planet. I don't know how Altura hasn't caught me yet because my base is ridiculous. It's ridiculously... It's, it's ridiculous. I don't know if they call them tiers or anything, but you can go to like tier two and then just not go on to tier three. Yeah. <laughs> it's just... Very it's, cool. It's like, whatever. All right. And All right. finally, my number one game on my list is, guess what? Seven Days to Die. I have played Seven Days to Die more hours than I've played any other game. Uh, I make a lot of Seven Days to Die video content. I really love Seven Days to Die. I love that you can terraform the land around you. I love the building mechanic. I think that it allows for a lot of creativity. I wish things were prettier sometimes just because things are made purposefully dirty because it's the apocalypse. But why can't I have nice things in the apocalypse? Okay. All right, let's move on to Saba Jade. Saba right, Jade so is a harsh critic. I learned, yeah, what I also learned is you grade on a curve. <laughs> I grade on a curve. Absolutely. <laughs> Maybe. Probably. probably so um, my top was Minecraft. Nice. Okay. Because you can just pop in whenever you want to and do whatever there's no rush do whatever. for anything yeah. yeah um and since they increased the challenge of it to stay alive with the update or two ago it's much more challenging to stay alive so survivability not with the food and the weather but the difficulty of the the bad guys it's much more difficult to survive because you go down into the nether and watch out. You go down into the nether and you're very likely going to die. You're dead. You're, you're, you're dead. very, very likely going to die. Yes. Um, and then I like all the crafting, the building. I just find it totally enjoyable. I, I like it. it. It's relaxing. Whenever. It's yeah. relaxing. And you can build whatever. If you've watched any of our videos for the damsels, you've seen we've done everything from. Yeah. We, I, I, my two most underwater. enjoyable. Yeah, the underwater one. And I think I enjoyed it when we, the time we dug down to bedrock and we made just a big kind of dwarf, dwarven yeah. castle thing underneath the ground and we had everything we needed. We never had to go back to the surface. Right. So let your imagination go. You can do that in Minecraft. Um, seven Days to Die was number two on my list, even though I'm out of Seven Days to Die now. I mean, you can only go so far, because there is no story in Seven Days to Die, but um, it's zombies. Yeah. Play it. Hey, Myth. What's going on in your house, man? I mean, I can hear oh, stuff talking in the background. TV. It's been just turned on the TV in the bedroom. Oh, okay. Uh, is there a door that can be shut or <laughs> Yeah, let me let okay. me go see that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cause I was trying to listen to Saba and I was like, what the hell's going on? Did somebody turn on a radio? <laughs> what hey, is going um, on? Number three on my list is really satisfactory. Um, okay. It's a crafting 
building game, it's both, but it's got monsters too. Um, and you're just building a big factory. But when you come up onto resources and everything, you have to kill the monsters that are guarding the resources. Okay. Um, and how fun is that, killing the mobs that are guarding the resources? Um, depending on how far along you are in the game, it's easy to difficult, depending on how far you are in the game. Um, and some things you can't get to, depending on how early you are in the game. You have to wait until later in the game before you can actually get to the resources because you don't have like a gas mask to get to things. And but I enjoy the game a lot. And then my number four is Scrap Mechanic Raft. I put them together because they're made by the same company, but they're different oh, okay. kinds of games. Um, but I enjoy both games, um, even though they're different. Um, and I only put them together because they're made by the same company. But I find them both really enjoyable, relaxing in different ways. Raft is kind of lazy. It's crafting. It's more crafting. Building. You make your own raft any way you want to. Very relaxing building in that way. And you don't have to fight the sharks until they come to your raft. You have to knock them on the head. That's why it's kind of relaxing. And there is a story. It's relaxing to, to knock a shark on the head. <laughs> and well, until they come up, it's relaxing. You build, build, build. They come up, they try to do your, get your raft, you knock them on the head and kill them. Or, well, you knock them on the head with your spear um, until you get more weapons and then you kill them that way. Um, and then they'll go away until the next one comes. So it's kind of relaxing that way. Um, but there is a story mode to that. So if you follow the story, you'll see what's going on. Um, scrap mechanic is a little different where you are trying to extend there is no digging in scrap mechanic where it would be cool if you could do that it would be cool um, but i enjoy that for a totally different reason um and the last one on my list is frost pump which is a city building society simulation survival game and it's in a frozen world which is why it's called frost pump and you have a whole bunch of people that you take to this edge of the world kind of thing and you plop down a city on top of a kind of a, you build a massive coal furnace and you're gathering resources, hunting for food, and you manage your citizens. You tell them what to do. And the reason I gave it a low score, it seems kind of low, is because my citizens were happy. We had all the resources we wanted. You just I had everything you them, needed. Everything Are you telling me about it? Yeah, everything that we needed. Um, nobody died. And then the year turned, and for some reason, my city, my citizens were unhappy. And I'm like, well, what happened? Why are you unhappy? And the game wouldn't tell me what happened. <laughs> and I think it's because they had in their programming that at this point in time, all these citizens were going to turn unhappy. And it's like, but That's nobody wrong. was unhappy. Nobody died. That shouldn't happen. I'm going to go back and play and see if it happens again. But that's why it's so low in my ranking. But I really enjoyed the whole idea of the game. All right, Beth, what do you think? All right, Myth, let's hear your list. Well, my list will be easy since you guys have already described the games. <laughs> <laughs> Seven Days to Die was my first one. Satisfactory and Scrap Mechanic are number two, and I put them together because, to me, they're very similar games. Okay. Art is third. Minecraft is fourth. Subnautica and Raft are fifth, and actually... Not because I like them the same or because I think they're similar. It's just because I didn't want to leave Raft out. <laughs> oh. So don't okay. you find relax Raft relaxing? I do think Raft is very laid back and relaxing and probably wouldn't have made it into the list except for the fact that it does have a story to it. Because I didn't know it had a story at first. And, and so I played it and then I sort of threw it away and didn't play it for a really long time. And... And I'd play it every once in a while because it is, like, relaxing. So if I just wanted to sort of kick back and, I don't know, watch TV, do something, I would load it up. But then I found out it had a story, and it made it a whole lot more interesting. They're going to come out with a, an update soon. Oh, cool. Something to do with furniture and stuff to oh, make your very good. look better, yes. And something I don't know if Lisa mentioned, but Seven Days to Die... I think stays at my number one. 
Because of the mods. Oh, because of all the the creative things, the creative ways that you can cheat in the game. It's nice. Not even about cheating. <laughs> it's about what you were saying about the vanilla game doesn't let you make any of the nice, pretty things, and the mods and we help like with to that. Surround ourselves with pretty things, right? So. <laughs> well, that's where the mods. We have mods. And- I made doors. Uh, remember, everybody's going, "Oh, look at the doors you made!" Well, yeah, that was a mod. That's a mod. <laughs> the the all the different color of vehicles, all the different types of vehicles. The hostess. Those are all mods. Those that's are pink all Jeep mods. Mod. The most interesting buildings that we go into. Mod. That's part of a mod. Yep. So um, Minecraft has mods, so you can play the vanilla game of Minecraft and. I like the vanilla game of Minecraft. I do too. But some of the some of the mods are very nice too. But the vanilla game is great on its own, so you don't need to play mods. The mods that's just, true. And it doesn't make the game to play a mod. Oh, modding it, it doesn't mean you're cheating, giant that's lizard true. man. <laughs> giant lizard man. It would make it a whole lot harder than I vanilla. I hated that mod. I hated <laughs> that mod. I was like, no, I refuse. This is the hill I'm willing to die on. I'm like, I am not right. playing this stupid mod with this stupid lizard man. It's not happening. <laughs> so, do you guys know there are mods for Ark? Yes. Yes. Have you ever tried any? No. No. Because I was reading just today that there's a mod to make your um, grinding for resources less oh, yeah. grindy. Yeah. Yeah, we just, I don't know. I haven't... Ark is such a handful for us right now. I mean, yeah, it's like it is we a handful. haven't even thought about modding it. Yeah, just no. And then any, I don't know. It just seems like, and then anybody that wants to come play with you ends up having to. Uh, load those That's same true. mods in and just I don't want to fool with it I just want to play I just want to play and explore caves and do cool things and all of that I'm having a great time I don't know why people are so hot to you know go barrel toward collect artifacts and barrel towards the end and beat the boss but well, you ha- know one of the I'm great happy. things about 7 Days to Die mods is they're very easy to load. Myth and I tried to yeah. do the ones for scrap mechanics. Couldn't figure mm. it out. <laughs> Couldn't get there. Right. It we, was awful. We followed the directions and we couldn't get them to do anything. And we're not dumb. I mean, we've been messing with mods for a very for long, a long time. time. We should have been able to do this. <laughs> so, nope. Didn't happen. And we've done it for Minecraft. So, yeah, didn't work. All right, so let's go on to our least favorite. Yes. Like- <laughs> so oh. which one did you choose, Lisa? Um, I just, uh, I, my least favorite survival crafting game is Green Hell. And oh, I just it's drew, not funny. Yeah, <laughs> I just drew a picture of a penis next to the game because fuck that game. All right, so... <laughs> My least favorite, never play again, hated, 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 gets a negative score, is Green Hell. (laughs) What did you choose? Well, I chose Green Hell. Oh my god! (laughs) And then I also put The Force, because I'm pretty sure they're the same game. Yeah. (laughs) Um, I liked The Force slightly more than Green Hell. (laughs) But you're right, I just didn't feel like... I could go back to the forest and uh, there's a, I know there's a story there and all that, but um, at some point I need to be able to uh, move things along and advance things. And if I can't do that, I'm just going to quit. And green hell, I just felt like they were making it hard for hard sake. Yeah. I, I felt like, Every time we thought, okay, well, maybe we can build a little something and, okay, gather something. This is what we're supposed to be doing now. Uh, Every two minutes, you're going crazy, and along comes a native to kill you. And he don't... Was he really there? I never could figure out. Were they really there? Nobody knows. They just don't stop. So I thought that was stupid. 
So uh, that move, the game was not for me. I'm sure it's for somebody, but it ain't me. Well, somebody put it on their best crafting games. What? Why? Yep. Because it what? would pay I to never do didn't so. get the craft anything. I yeah, think. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I never, I never got to do anything. I thought, I thought, you know what I mean? If you want me to play your game, you got to let me get out, out of the tutorial successfully. <laughs> Valheim. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't, if you make it stupid, I'm, I'm just going to quit and I'm not going back. And that's it. And I'm not going to talk good about your game. How many times have we talked good about Seven Days to Die and Ark and Subnautica and Raft and right. games like yep. that? Over and over and over because those games are genuinely enjoyable. Green Hell yep. was genuine bullshit. I'm sorry, what? I just said that. <laughs> so there you have it. I can't believe we chose the same game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just the same game. Really and bad. Proceeded to trash it for five minutes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, let's do before we start. What is Sweet Tooth? Um, it's a series on Netflix, and it's about a pandemic, and most many of the population dies. And what happens is that. All babies after a certain point are hybrids of human and animals. What? Yes. And they don't know whether the hybrids cause the pandemic or the pandemic causes the hybrids. Oh my, chicken egg. But, yeah. But the humans start um, blaming the pandemic on the hybrids, some humans. Other humans are trying to save the hybrids. Um, so Sweet Tooth is this one hybrid that at the beginning, his father takes him off into the Yellowstone National Park. Oh, and no. raises him. Oh, okay, raises him. I thought they, yes. He lets him go and he has to survive on his own. No. <laughs> no. No. And his nickname after a while is called Sweet Tooth because he's got a sweet tooth, you know. Um and it's very good. It's only eight episodes in the first season. So I would recommend it. And this but is, it's this a, you know, Netflix, fantasy. Right? Yeah, Netflix. Cool. Into that kind of stuff. And then um, by the end, you'll figure out, you'll find out what happened, really. Oh. Um, some things are kind of, um, really, you're going to go down that route, but. Mm. I mean, all humans yeah. aren't bad kind of thing but I enjoyed it yeah and then it's kind so of like oh go ahead go, no go ahead with, with your with your all humans are bad I don't know if you've seen Wonder Woman 1984 but yes I have um it, my husband brought up a really good point in that you're just assuming that every person who made a wish made a selfish wish what about the people who would wish for, you know, the cure for cancer or the cure for these weird childhood diseases like, uh, oh, CF or the you know, world peace or something like that? Do they have to rescind that? Just saying. I mean, that would be pretty difficult. Right. I rescind my wish for world peace. <laughs> Let's all go back to hating each other. Anyway. So that makes perfect sense to me what you just said. You're, you're right. <laughs> and there was another one you were going to tell me about. Solos. solos. Yeah, Solos. Yeah, that's on Amazon Prime. And it's uh, because of the pandemic, we couldn't have real TV. Shows. <laughs> so this one is um, seven episodes of one person in a show. That's why it's called Solos. So oh. you only have one star per show. And so they might play three characters or two characters or just one character in the so show. Um, so like in the very first episode, Anne Hathaway plays three characters, but it's all her. <laughs> her past, present, and future self. Talking to herself. And so it, it's pretty good um, how they do that. And some of the best one of the best episodes is um, Helen Mirren mm -hmm. in a spacecraft. 
Um, <laughs> and yeah, so really good series. So if you want to catch that. Cool. I kind of do want to catch that now that, now that you've described what it is. Yep. All right. And myth just says dot, dot, dot. I'm not sure what that means. I've started watching the nevers because of you myth. It's actually pretty decent. <laughs> and I realized that the the lady that's the lead character, the lead protagonist or in this in that show, she is the sister from Outlander. Oh. Yeah, yeah, the one who was like milking herself in the forest. Yeah. That's all I remember about her really. <laughs> she was <laughs> I just forget crazy, that. Just crazy practical. <laughs> just yeah. So uh, she's really good in that show. Like, yeah, you can't forget that. You can't unsee something like that. No. So. No way. All right. So, <laughs> would, would, did we do Seven Days to Die POV in the last episode? I think so. I can't remember. Can't remember. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Talk about it. Tell me about, tell me about what we did because now I'm doubting myself. <laughs> I don't remember. I really don't know. But that's yeah, what I, I said. <laughs> um, so the last thing we did at Seven Days to Die POV was wrap up our time on the road, collect all our loot from our random loot boxes that we strewed all over the land, and came back home, and then I made us a pink Jeep. Yes, she did. And <laughs> then I made Chaba a quad, and me a buggy, and I made the three of us a van. Nice. Uh, Hostess delivery van. Can we all mm. fit in the van? Yeah, that's the idea behind the van. Anyway. Okay, cool. I'm hoping so. Is if we can all fit in the van, then if we're gonna go somewhere, we can all just you know hop in the van. I don't ride in vans, you know. You you don't or you didn't? I don't. You know, riding in vans. You guys have right. warned me many but, many times. Do not if, get but, in vans. But if we are in the van, we can ride in the van with us. And that's okay. <laughs> If you have never said I'm the it's one safe to get in when we're in the van. You have always said never, never get, in, get a in a van. van. You never said there were qualifiers. I never, I never qualified that with it's unless I'm driving the van and then nope. never you said can that. get in the van. All right. Fair enough. So Saba is building a garage in the alien field next door. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see what it looks like when she yeah. gets in Actually, it's interested. me and Lessa. Lessa and I. I'm just helping. I'm just doing what I'm told. And then uh, <laughs> Saba's the master constructioner. Yeah, I do. I got to buck the... So, you know, if I just make things easy, if I don't buck the system sometimes, you're going to get bored and you're going to feel like, yeah, you know, nothing is a challenge. So I become the challenge, right? <laughs> me. <laughs> trying, to, <laughs> trying to talk me into what you want. <laughs> becomes part of the process. That's what it is. All right. Uh, that's what we did. That's what we did. So let's talk about our two weeks in gaming. Uh, I got a steel you club ready? while you're, while you're talking about what we, things we did in seven days to die that matter. I got a steel club and now uh, I'm every woman. I'm, it's all in me. You know what I mean? She's like, no, I don't know what that means. <laughs> that literally means that I'm the shit, man. I got a steel club. So I have this cool idea that I want to set up for Horde where I can do a little bit of melee and then whenever it gets to be a little too hard to handle, then I can retreat back onto the roof. But um, it's going to take a little bit of time to set up. So that's going to be the next thing that I'm going to work out. And... Uh, <clears throat> did you guys? Oh, I started recording Very Vanilla season two. Oh, very nice. Yeah, for Seven Days to Die. So whenever I have at least three episodes already in the can, then I'll start posting them. But not until because I like to give myself a little bit of a little pocket of time in case busy weeks come up, like the one that's in front of me now. And mm -hmm. Ark Survival Evolved is t pretty much takes up. All the majority of my game time whenever I'm not at work and I just don't know that there's any stopping this train Mithri and I went to a cave 
and we, yes, thought, we, did. we thought we explored the whole cave and what really happened was we did it. <laughs> Apparently there's more to the cave than we knew, but, uh, so, uh, I don't know. I guess we have to go back. I mean, is there anything important in there that we need? I don't know. I don't know either. That's a lot of trouble. Yeah. Signs, but nothing on the signs. We we have signs. Yeah, but I don't see any words on the signs. Yeah. This says, look in the vault. It's full of it. No, outside. Oh. Oh, it does say it. Oh, when you were off to the side, I couldn't see it. Right, right, right. When and you talk about yellow stuff test. that's on the, uh, yeah, the, <laughs> so Mithuri and I were, wait, or, I don't know, somebody was out in the winter time and I found this mammoth, or maybe it was Fred that found this mammoth, and uh, I really liked it, and he looks like he never brushes his teeth ever, but I didn't know that I wanted a mammoth until we got one, and we got a saddle for it, and um, it's just kind of amazing. We're gonna have he can a, pick things up with his snout. Yeah. We're gonna when we do the drunken Fiomia race part two, where we expand the race to the whole cave, we are going. He's the grandmaster of the parade that we're gonna have, the opening ceremony. You know, it's a big, it's a big to do this race. So, huh? I've, I'm I'm gonna get some sportsman like color commentators to MC the race. I think it's gonna be Rent Pone and Draculetta. They don't know that they're doing it yet, but I'm going to talk them into it somehow. Just mark my words, write it down. I'm gonna hey, ask you until that? they say Yeah, you can hear that. I'm gonna ask until they say yes. So uh, so say yes now right. and spare yourself a lot of heartache. Let's move on. I played Valheim. And it wasn't awful. I'm not even kidding me. I'm not even kidding. I played Valheim. It wasn't terrible. And the reason it wasn't terrible is because it played with a bunch of other people. And... How many is a bunch? Oh, gosh. Uh, it was me, Tay, Beyonder, Mithery, some dude that Rent's known since the fifth grade, and <laughs> another guy, Dizzy. Yeah, six six people. And why does more people make it better? Uh, because you don't have to do as much. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You don't have to do as much. All I, 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 you can kind of, you know, try to tiptoe through the tulips and focus on whatever. And I didn't have any issues finding building materials. So it was all right. And if they all play again then I'll join them but if not I am not going to go in on my own game I'm not going to play alone I will pretty much play if it's a big group and one of those people knows me in real life and asks me to my face will you play nobody lives where you live so how uh, can you beyonder beyonder Oh, yeah. So only if Beyonder asked. Yeah, if he asked, which is why I played this time. Because he was asking me to my face. Got that it. is the only reason I said yes. <laughs> I was like, okay, fine. He goes, I want you to play and I want you to come in with an open mind. I was like, okay, I'll do both of those things. And um, and it was okay. So it tr Valheim is truly an MMO. We I, still can't figure out why they I, like that game, though. Yeah, I, I look... Like I belong on uh, the East German women's wrestling team or something. I'm just so I don't know. The graphics, nothing has changed. The graphics, is all of the still, graphics are horrible. Still very chunky. I think it's meant to be like that. Kind of nostalgic. You know, not every game is made for every person. It's true. So it's true. You it's don't have to like the game. Yeah. Uh, what's that? And you game? don't have to play the game because the guys like the game. Yeah, it's true. That game that I don't, that uh, you guys play that I don't like, something about mechanics, scrap mechanics. I'm just not. Okay, to be fair. That, I'm just not that into it. it I didn't give it a shot. I could give it another shot, but I could tell you that I'm no, still No, you don't have to it. give it a shot, but to be fair, you didn't give it a shot. <sighs> but you don't have to give it a shot. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> not every game is for everybody. So and if you true. don't like that, I'm just say i don't really like that game eh, i'll play i'll play but if, if you play. play because 
you want to have a social interaction, that's a totally different story. Yeah. Plus, whenever right. the Viking guys take their shirts off, it's not terrible. We'll see. That's Just... true. They did do work that's on the horrible. Viking men. Yeah. <laughs> the, their abs have abs, so it's nice to look at. Yes. All right, let's go on to... Uh, well, well Guild Wars 2 we do... haven't played yet, so we're going to play no, that tonight, right? Yeah, we're going to play tonight. Uh, satisfactory, what'd you guys do? We started a new map. Another new map. What a shock. <laughs> <laughs> And we established a base in a really pretty area. Landscaping is really nice. Um, so, have you given that game a shot yet, Lessa? What satisfactory? Yeah, I know you have it. I have. I do have it, but I haven't played it yet. I couldn't uh, tell you why. I think maybe I'm afraid. Part of me is afraid. Afraid? Yes, because I might like it, <laughs> and then. <laughs> I will play it a lot if I like it. And I have other things that I'm playing right now, so I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I want to go there. Well, you can't, um, like, separate, like, one day a week you go, okay, this day is dedicated to Satisfactory, and then the rest of my days are dedicated to this. You can't do that? Uh, I don't know. No. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. What if what if I don't want to play Satisfactory that day? I just I, I don't think so. I don't think so. But well, I'm then you just don't you play that play. day. Yeah, maybe. I'm happy to hear about how you guys play. But I have a feeling that if I play it I'm going to like it and I'm going to want to play it more. So because it sounds like it's kind of yeah, I think up, about that game up my alley. It's especially if Mithri's thinking about it when she's not playing it. That's yeah. a bad, that's a bad sign. That means I'm gonna like it. <laughs> uh, and I played I some think... Mass Effect Legendary and just got lost and lost all my progress. So that's all I did in that game. That's I mean, you got lost in. Well, there was a big parking garage and this other stuff and uh, that I was supposed to do and I couldn't figure out where I was supposed to go and so I was like, I don't have time. I, I don't have time to mess around with this, so I just logged out and I lost uh -huh. a bunch of progress. So I have to go back and do it all again. I'm still lost in the mission that I was doing. Not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Actually. You definitely don't remember from the last time. Nope. It's all a big blur. All a big blur. All right, you guys have anything else to add before I move on to housekeeping? Nope. All right, housekeeping. I put our podcast up on YouTube, but I do it dead last. If you want it when it's fresh, you got to subscribe by your favorite podcast outlet like iTunes or our home at Podcast Garden or Podcast Addict. Addict. Podcast Addict, that sort of thing. We're on there too. So, just, you know, subscribe. I remembered. That's all you got to do. Oh, I, remember. <laughs> I remembered. Oh, good. Yeah, you did. You did remember. I, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. And uh, you, you can also do the RSS feed on our, at our home, um, damselsofddo.com. And when is the next time? Well, the next time technically is July 4th. <gasps> I don't have any plans, so that's fine with me. Me neither. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, I don't have plans. Sorry, don't have nope. plans. Boo. All right, see you then. All right, and thanks to everyone who joined us for the live show. Come join us in a few minutes as we play here, right here on this channel, the twitch.tv slash the damsels game. Until then, you can email us. I'm, uh, wait a minute. Until then, I'm not, I'm not Lessa. No, I'm the damsels game <laughs> at gmail.com. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm bleh. But you are Lessa. I am. I am, but the... So, one thing before you go, I was reading on um, Tent on Hammer, and they had a question. Do you use the same name in all the games that you play? Is that wrong? No, that was just a question. Pretty much. I do, too. And, but it was like 50-50. Yeah. That people don't. And Sometimes some people... I mix it up. But do you use the same core names. Yeah, the same core names. Some people yeah. do not. That's wild. How can you remember? And it is. Oh. Exactly. <laughs>
Yeah, that's weird. Some people make up different names for all the different games that they play. Wow. But it seems wow. like the, the people who play D&D use the same core names game. That does not surprise me even one little bit. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't right. surprise me even one little bit. Alright, that is it. That is it. Alright, email us at damselsgame at gmail.com and come back to our Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash the damsels game for our live and otherwise highlighted gameplay. And you can follow us on Twitter. I'm at Lesson Mithri is at Mithri1 and Saba Jade is at Saba Jade. Uh, window. Oh, thanks very much for joining us, guys. <laughs>